have good stuff coming away but for now it's all about what has been happening into the kenyan music scene and controversies yeah mm -hmm. yes michelle before you can carry on can i define hip hop i like defining hip hop yes <laughs> yes hip hop yes, is basically what's popping in the world of hip hop from way back to now uh, to Ken from kenya <laughs> to johannesburg to cairo to lagos to new york to la to london to okay. australia sydney australia everywhere what Born in hip hop. Antarctica, yes. you forgot that. I forgot? Antarctica. 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 <laughs> next time, next time, we'll make sure that you we'll get, get there. That you have in Beijing. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> anyway, you pop in, what's popping in the world of hip hop? So, what's popping in the world of hip hop? Well, a lot of stuff has been happening. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start off with uh, one of the pioneers of hip hop music, that mm -hmm. is a basketball, who mm -hmm. since day one has been showing support for Calligraph Jones. Mm -hmm. And he came out uh, saying, you know what, you're actually doing a good job after the release of Superman. Mm -hmm. And uh, the relationship goes way back, mm -hmm. even before this new release of a single and a Superman. Mm -hmm. So there's that support system, and also mm -hmm. him mentioning about uh, the Kenyan industry, mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. And the fact that 90%, as usual, play Kenyan music mm -hmm. as we do it right here at Y254. So yes, it's the same story. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that the, there has been a consistency, consistency has mm -hmm. been there compared to other days when we usually mention artists mm -hmm. about play KE. But now there's that consistency where it's All a right. conversation that is still ongoing. On to that, uh, a Basque, uh, Kubaf, <laughs> uh, Calligraph, uh, uh, Mata, yeah? Yes. A bus, uh, Octopisa came up uh, like. I can attribute a very big percentage of Octopizo's success in this thing a bus mm -hmm. Like I'll call it this a bus So there has been Yeah, and that's what I was, I was actually and then seeing. then Octopizo and Calligraph. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you have a common enemy, I feel yeah. like. <laughs> but I also feel like. Yeah, uh, I feel that. Born. But I also feel like it's rare for mm. fellow hip hop artists to give homage and seeing it happen it's actually a good thing uh, a between good thing. Uh, Abbas and Calligraph yes. yeah but that's but I love the song I also love the song by Calligraph though. Jones oh. Superman getting super loaf mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> so super love. So Octopus will also be coming up. We, we also mentioned about uh, humanitarian works. And this time mm. around, there's someone, an artist known as uh, Eric, who went ahead to open his own musical school, courtesy of the program uh, by Octopus and mentorship by him. Wow. So good wow. stuff coming away. Yeah. So That's amazing. More that, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying, I'm trying. <laughs> That's amazing to see young people, mm -hmm. you know, come out of their comfort zone and do something and great do to business. help yeah. the community. Considering he is a refugee, yeah, from Congo, yeah. Yeah, right. amazing. So supported by Octopizo, mm -hmm. now he's done his thing, is opened the music school. Exactly. All right, and I respect the Congolese guys. They're good with their guitar, man. Really, true, really true, true really that. Good, man. And, they are, and they are dancing skills. And they are dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Why? We have to put that Why? out there. <laughs> when you talk about Congolese people dancing, it has to be. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually yeah. don't did this because the first thing it was dancing and I was like oh the waist <laughs> it's always cool. about the waist yeah nobody can wind their waist like yeah. Congolese people and my sisters from United Kisumu or, or Nyanza those yeah. sisters can wind it as well <laughs> shout out to you by the way I respect <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're blessed so that? they are blessed in what sense okay. in so many aspects <laughs> <laughs> DJ Rajas, before we get to hip hop and just remind them i like to i like it when you keep reminding them <laughs> uh you can get me on social media mm -hmm. on at instagram kwa rajiz the dj mm -hmm. twitter rajiz the dj facebook page rajiz the dj my mixes get them at vimeo mm -hmm. and it's Rajiz the DJ. All right. All so Michelle, can I do the honors? Please do the honors. All right. So straight for the, it's, okay. it's about that time. It's, uh, it's time for the moment of truth. It's time for a poppin brought to you by Michelle Ashera and Eddie Eddie. So don't go nowhere. Don't touch that dial. We'll be back with some more Hip Hop Thursday. Happy New Month, homies. I hope you had a nice celebration for the Working Class Labor Day. Welcome to Hip Hop in the only space you get local and international news under the lens well, well covered. My name is Michelle Ashira. In international news, we got so much lined up for you. From 50 Cent to Travis Scott, we have so much news in store for you. Welcome to another segment of Hip Hopping. I am your host, Adio Gold. Vipi wase maze, eh, 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 calligraph maze, big up, big up sana maze, nimesema, wata ni take my time maze, saizi, 
ni bonge na wase directly mazi hata kasi kumtani ni kuambia mazi hiyo gota stop out and stop hating but at the end of the day kali usijali mazi you need some haters up in here if you don't have haters there's something wrong you're doing how see you a rare gesture to see a Kenyan hip hop artist paying homage to another artist, especially in the hip hop culture. Abbas Kubaf is one of the artists from way back has been giving support to Calligraph Jones. And this time round, he went on social media to upload a video where he spoke about the support system in Kenya, especially in the media houses, and speaking also on the terms of monopoly that is basically 90% of music being played right here in Kenya should be from Kenyans and the other percentage to be given out to international artists. Abbas Kubaf has been of the production of music since 2016, a time frame of two to three years. That is after he wedded his long-term girlfriend from Britain. It has been over five good years of Octo Pizzo's involvement with refugees back in the dub and working with UNHCR. In this collaboration, they brought about many artists in the industry and one of them known as Eric Museveni from Congo. He's just opened up a music school known as Botopo Music School, courtesy of the mentorship by none other than the artist Octo Pizzo. So the artist is one of the many who has been involved in giving back in the society and will be remembered for that and also his artistic aspect of it. He's a lover of the finest things in life. Doku Janja has been into the country to launch and promote his new single known as Yente, a slang word in Tanzanian meaning good. I don't know how that is true, but yes, that's what he says. Doku Janja is still in Kenya doing the tour for his song Yente, and he actually mentioned a probability, just probability, of a collaboration between the heart the band. Let's see how that one turns out to be. And on international news, we begin with Travis Scott. Now, it's been quite the year for Travis Scott headlining in so many shows, and he has really performed in such magnanimous shows of late this year. But one thing this year, he has been caught on a very wrong side when he is being sued by the co-founder of 3-6 Mafia for infringement of copyright laws. Travis Scott has a song called Astro World, in which case the hook goes, F the club up, F the club up, if you know what I mean. Each is similar to one of 3-6 Mafia's song, Tear the club up. Now, DJ Paul, who is one of the co-owners or co-founders of 36 Mafia is suing Travis Scott for an excessive of 20 million for he claims Travis never asked for permission. to other news for the lovers of T-Pain I'm here to deliver bad news now T-Pain will not be performing in any major function or concerts in any day soon and he will not be able to also produce new music as T-Pain has been warned that he may lose his voice permanently so he has been performing in event after event and that has caused a serious strain in his voice now, when it comes to G-Unit, there's a lot to speak about, but the main person in focus this time will be 50 Cent. Now, Curtis Jackson has been a very busy man. Now, it all started when he was being sued by Tayra Marie from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood for colluding with his boyfriend to release a sex tape. Now, 50 Cent went on to win the case for he was awarded $30,000, although he had hoped a little bit more in the rough estimate of $160,000, for he claimed that's the exact amount he had spent to pay the lawyer for covering the case. Although the judge threw the case out saying that the only money will be given is the $30,000 that he had actually ordered. As if that wasn't enough, 50 Cent went on to start up a long brewing feud between him and Young Buck. 50 Cent went on social media to speak about Young Buck's upcoming album and saying how proud he was, but it's not that that really made Young Buck upset but what he said after that but young buck had this to say on return you stand me? You stand me so I can see you. and then you want to hold me on a contract are you serious you're going to tell them anything tell them the truth tell them what you really do tell them about them cease and desist that you're sitting now you're trying to pull my music down let's be real let's just It only gets covered that better right here on Hip Hop. And make sure if you have any other story that you feel should be featured right here, all you have to do is reach out to me at Michelle Ashira Twy254 channel. And make sure, make sure the same place, same time next Thursday. I was much every Thursday morning, so join us next week for more of Hip Hop News.
Yes, you had it straight from Michelle and Eddie right there. If you'd like to get to know more on what's happening in the world of hip hop, be sure to tune into our social media handles at White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. You can watch the repeat at 2 p.m. <coughs> today or you can find us on youtube at y254 channel and if you think there's a story that the people need to know and it pertains and matters hip-hop send it to us on our social media handles as well don't forget the hashtag why in the morning and don't forget the hashtag hip-hop thursday and never ever forget to tell us where you're watching us from i'll pass the baton to my people yeah. <laughs> mm. yes yeah, i'm looking forward to see if J dogo janja is going to work mm -hmm. with uh, had the band, so mm -hmm. it's something that I want to see. Oh, yeah. possible. So he mentioned it by his Instagram page, but I don't know if it was just uh, having a good time mm -hmm. with uh, us, the fans, just mm -hmm. messing with us. But we don't want to be messed with, so we're, right. we're but I like waiting to, for that. <laughs> I like to see artists uh, experimenting, yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, it's really amazing to see the like Beyonce doing a trap song. Mm -hmm. It's really fascinating uh, to see somebody try something that they're not used exactly. to doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, to see a rapper doing an R&B song. And so it's, also, really it's a good thing, not mm -hmm. if you identify as a rapper, you can try out different genres of not just like hip hop kind of sound. Mm -hmm. you can, yeah. Just don't put yourself so in looking box. forward to seeing what the band can do with a rapper mm, right there. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I think one of them is a rapper or a spoken word spoken artist. Spoken word, uh, spoken if word artist. I'm not wrong. Yeah. So it's going he's to the one be. Who used, he's the one actually who brought life to that. Because there's this part he sings and he's mm. like, you know, speaking. Yes, and, and it's really, it's and really, it's really creative with it. Yes. Like, Yo, okay, so you I feel like he knows you personally. Yeah, like, you can switch it up. Like, uh, actually, mm -hmm. wrong, yeah. You feel like I make a camera flying on your back on a bigger story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so I had the one shout out to you. Uh, exactly. What about Young Back and 50 Cent? Uh, There's a story that started way back to, for me, uh, The Love and Hip Hop. There's a release of Sex Tape and then 50 Cent went to court all about it and he had to pay lawyers and then he won the court proceedings and mm -hmm. uh, he initially asked for 30 uh dollars 30 mm -hmm. 30 thousand dollars mm -hmm. and now after he won the court the court he went back saying that he wants mm -hmm. more and then there's also there's a lot it's a lot of controversy and ed actually explained it way better so people mm -hmm. if you feel like you have any story that you want us to address or look into it all you have to do is reach out to me at michelle share at edio mm -hmm. and we'll get you under the lens of what has been trending so make sure you keep time next thursday as we have no <laughs> more stories for you and uh, right now we are about to go to dj rajis and more interviews karen Yes, sir. Jungle, jungle. Now, check it, baby. Check it. I'm ready for you so badly. You're Rashi. ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I'm ready as well. Uh, and I hope you are ready for what we are going to be having mm -hmm. for you. This is the official weekend starter. This is how you start your weekend uh, with some hip hop music in the morning. Yes, the sir. only breakfast show that brings you hip hop yes, music. Yes, hip hop. Imagine. You take it to another across, level. Across the world. I've not seen any other breakfast exactly. show that brings you hip hop with a special DJ like DJ mm -hmm. Reggie's Mr. Ooh. Good Vibes right there. And uh, beautiful women like Karen and Michelle and Aww. you know an ugly gentleman like myself <laughs> yo ladies kindly let us know do you think he's ugly or many hot babes no no we wrap this up we'll be back with he's interviews thank you very much for tuning in to why